The history of Youngstown was being told tonight downtown by the people who made it. That's John Young, after whom Youngstown was named. But there was also Sam Warner, a laid-off steel worker, and a woman who shopped at Strauss's. The historical ghost tour is new at 11. On the banks of this sweeping river? Actor Anthony Marsicola stood on Federal Street downtown, portraying John Young, after whom Youngstown was named. Listening were one group of the more than 500 people who paid $5 to be part of the sold-out historical ghost tour. How I came down here, where I came from, how much land I bought, old cabin that we built together. We have a team of writers and researchers. And Cindy Castro de Russo owns the production company Smarter Move Talent, from which she produced the second historical ghost tour. Yes, the script was definitely written for this. And we're changing it every year, so it's not monotonous, so somebody doesn't be like, oh, I already saw it last year. Before the tour, the actors were made up at Concept Studio. Chase Miles is playing a steel worker who was laid off after Black Monday in 1977. And I'm going to be telling people about the Meatloaf and Tom Petty show that came to town in 77 at the Tomorrow Club. The groups walked along both sides of Federal Street, ending at the Dior Performing Arts Center. The idea was that of Youngstown's events director, Melanie Clark Pinella, from when she lived in Key West. We had a ghost tour there, and I came back and I said, why couldn't we make this happen here? So many interesting buildings, and it'd be a cool way to get people into buildings and, and the businesses down. This is a very big production. It, um, hopefully I make it look easy, but it's really not. <laughs> now around 35 people were needed to stage the historical ghost tour, 21 of whom were actors. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.